Hi guys, this is Young. And first, I really want to thank you guys for making my channel more than 20,000 subscribers. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so I first want to celebrate with beer. <sighs> so good. I'm not very good at drinking, so before I get drunk on this little can of beer, I actually want to share with you guys on five sort of lessons that I've learned along the way. So I've actually been running my Young360 channel for like three years. At the beginning of this year, I think my channel was at around like 5,000 subscribers. Most of the growth up until like 20,000 has been this year. So recently when I see analytics on YouTube studio app, I'm actually beginning to find like new patterns that I haven't actually come across when I was even smaller channel. So I've actually sort of boiled down to about five points including of course sharing my analytics screenshot including the income page as well but that will come at the very end so please do stay tuned until the very end of the video so first recent finding that i actually came across is the frequency i realized every other day is probably best for my channel as far as i can see if i actually upload every other day it seems like youtube is pushing my videos you know up in the rank YouTube always wants to sort of promote you if you work harder. And even if the content is quite good, if I hadn't been uploading very frequently, then I think YouTube gives you like less priority. So I'm trying to upload sort of every other day. That's something that I haven't really stuck to, but I should. And the second lesson that I've learned is, which is very applicable for any like tech channel, is that new products always help with your views for example me sort of sitting talking about like some specs about new products such as mavic mini that did really well talking about new product and better is of course reviewing about new product always always helps and that can actually give you like a new influx of viewership which means your subscriber numbers can grow as well However, there are two difficulties that I've actually faced. First is, of course, big YouTubers, they will get the product first. So that's actually why I ended up talking about Mavic Mini, which I know I'm gonna get, and I've already pre-ordered, and it's coming early next week. So I actually had to like sort of talk about it, give you like a detailed breakdowns of the specs and so on, so that, you know, some of you guys actually might get to know my channel and stay on my channel as well. Especially one lesson that I did learn when I actually got my mobile phone Samsung S10 Plus is that I first thought, oh, you know, all the big YouTube channels, they talk about iPhone, they talk about Galaxy phone, and it's really popular. So that should get me some viewership as well. However, because I was too late into getting my device, especially Hong Kong is not even like the first set of countries that get Samsung Galaxy S10, I was really slow. And I mean, I wanted to upgrade my mobile phone, but I ended up spending you know, a lot of money in getting a mobile phone that kind of led to nowhere in terms of talking about the growth of the channel. But talking and reviewing about the new product could potentially be of great help. And the third thing that I want to talk about is sort of to give you an encouragement. The growth on YouTube is exponential. I mean, of course, my growth of my channel is not as exponential compared to some other bigger channels. So I actually like to sort of look at my own analytics. If there is a new growth compared to my past, then that makes me really happy. In my first year, in my very first year, I had even no idea what I was doing. I only began like editing videos on like free video editing apps on the mobile phone. Hi, I'm Young. I'm making this video today. It is Wednesday, the 26th of October 2016. I get inspired by those videos of people traveling around, being out in the nature, doing different activities. And that's something that I really want to do. And I set myself a goal of one year to do such kind of things. <laughs> I can't believe I was so ambitious. Wait until the end to see how ambitious this goal was. So I actually moved from like 5,000 to 10,000 subscribers within about four months. And then from April this year, I moved from 10,000 to 20,000 subscribers because June, July, where I was so busy at work, I just couldn't really get good enough content. And also because I had actually built 
huge audience on Ozone Pocket and also a bit on like Mavic Air drone related subject. In the summertime, there wasn't much to talk about drones. That was sort of like a down period. However, I actually grew quite fast in the last like two months. Especially I've been pumping out more content and I've been sort of studying about my own analytics as well. So I really do hope this will actually give you encouragement that at the beginning, unless you're really somebody special with special skills, nobody's going to watch you. So it's important that you're doing something that you're passionate about. For me, I was passionate about drones. I was passionate about learning how to like how to make cool like travel videos and stuff, which I'm still learning very much. The reason why I'm sharing all my like statistics and stuff is so that you guys don't actually feel discouraged at the beginning of your YouTube journey. And the fourth lesson, which I'm really terrible at still, is that thumbnail and title matters. I usually forget about taking thumbnail photos. I have to scrape some screenshot from video, which is of course not as good quality. So now I need to take thumbnail photo. I think I'm actually gonna title it as lessons learned from running an unsuccessful YouTube channel or something. So let me like have a, let me put on like crying face. Mm. Okay, so I've made plenty of ugly faces. But the reason why thumbnail and your title is so important is because I think click-through rate, click-through rate is probably more important than your retention rate. Let me say this again because it's so important and I also want to engrave it to my head. So click-through rate is probably more important than retention rate. So now let's take a look at the recent videos I uploaded. At the 10th place at the bottom is the cutest panda video, which I loved, but it seems like it wasn't very suitable for my audience. So the average click-through rate was only 3% at the beginning. So it realized that this video is not going to be popular. So it kind of just fell from the suggestion by YouTube. Whereas the top video of the last 10 uploads, it was Mavic Mini versus Mavic Air. And of course that topic is definitely more interesting to my viewers. And the click-through rate was about 10%, which is pretty good for my channel. And if something goes to about 10% click-through rate, YouTube will then start promoting my video probably from about day two. That's when I see another wave spark up in terms of number of views. So YouTube is happy to promote further of the same video to other people because the click-through rate is high. My theory is because advertisement come at the beginning of the video, you know, before the video, it could actually potentially bring more revenue to YouTube. And the last topic that I want to talk about is of course money. I mean at the end of the day, I mean we're doing YouTube channel so that we can actually release our sort of creativity side and advance in our hobbies. But of course many of us are thinking about doing YouTube channel for potential like money side as well. I'm not gonna lie. I'm also the same. I thought I'm gonna be like rich, you know, making a lot of money on YouTube, but that's definitely not the case. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not the case. But I can say right now I do earn enough so that I can afford having different gadgets and accessories. Actually, a lot of companies do contact me. I don't say yes to all the companies because I actually try to limit to the products that might be of interest to you guys. So let's go straight into analytics and let me show you the revenue statistics over the entire time that my channel has been on the YouTube. You guys can see I didn't even earn one dollar per day for a very very long time and I think I got sort of a little bit of jump when I was talking about the Samsung VR headset and then after I got Osmo Pocket I sort of saw a glimpse of hope. And then when I talked about Mavic Mini speculations, it actually hit like the highest revenue that I had per day, which is just below $60. And then I have to say from September, I do see some sort of meaningful increase in revenue. I actually run my channel in English. They are from sort of US where the CPM rate is a lot higher. So I think there is actually a benefit in actually running your channel in English. I mean, I don't speak perfect English, but it definitely reaches out to wider audience. 
However, if you can of course do much better in your own like native language, then by all means do so because that might actually give you faster growth of your channel. This is to recap and please take a snapshot. So cheers to you guys. Thank you so much for making like 20,000 happen. I'm gonna work hard and let's, I don't know, go much further than that. <laughs> See you.